What's happening, guys? Sean, Leslie's Over Dummies. Um, I'm going to install the MCS uh, rear air kit in my TIPX. It's not really going to be a how to because my marker already has the modifications to accept this, and that would be um, you have to drill the TIPX shell for the rear air adapter. Now, I'm not even sure that this is going to work because this isn't the factory uh, nipple on here. So we're gonna put it together and find out anyway. So we'll just start taking it apart. The other thing you need for this kit obviously is the CMP kit uh, from MCS as well. All my screws are different in here. Um, originally when I had this thing cranked up, so these are the factory kind of TIPX screws and you run them through here, uh, but they're not of good quality steel. So I had to replace them with hardened uh, alloy socket head caps because I actually bent this one. This is what secures your block inside the marker and from the bolt hammering it, it bent that screw. Huh, that hasn't seen the light of day in a while. One of my earliest modifications was making stuff shiny. <laughs> oh, CO2 cap. I also have an aftermarket trigger and mag release on this. Uh, honestly, off the top of my head, I can't remember who those came from. It's a Canadian company, though. They are aluminum, and they come in anodized colors. Um, when I post this video, I'll put a link in the video description um, so you can find them for yourself. Just gonna do an inspection while I got it apart here. Got a Wix and detent in there. Must have. And this hasn't been fired in a while. And I, and I spoke about this in somebody else's video. <sighs> I'm gonna have to crack this thing loose. It sticks. And that's what that white sort of Teflon plastic seals for, but I always find it gets garbled up, so I don't, I remove it. Um, but you don't fire it enough, it'll sit. And when you gas your marker, the bolt will stick, the trigger will pull and nothing happens. And it's as simple as like, I, you'd think air pressure would pull that apart, but the way this valve functions is not like, uh, there's no actual pressure on this pin until the valve inside opens. So it's literally just stuck. This is a TCR valve in here. Nothing fancy about it. All right. This is also an intact regulator. So, once you've actually drilled your case halves, oops, it's that hole right there. Um, all the instructions are in the kit from Tipman, and there's some really good videos online how to do it. Uh, you just have to remove that set screw there. This little plug comes out of there. You set it aside, you reinstall everything into your marker. And this piece threads in 
and replaces that. So let's see how that works out. Put a little lube on this. Bolt spring back on. The tricky part is this rubber bumper here. Good thing about the Wixa detent is that it stays in place. The factory uh, detents, when you, as soon as you flip it over, they fall out and it makes this even harder. So you just lift up a little on the spring here, get the block going. Try and keep that rubber bumper kind of in front of this little magazine release here. Just push it together, kind of hold it down. And then the rubber bumper should kind of fall into place. And then I usually just take a little, uh, little Allen key or whatever, and just kind of make sure it is set down there. And don't worry, it doesn't have to be perfect. Once that bolt rams that once, it will be set in place. All right, we'll put our block back in here. Get our CO2 tube. And just one final once over here. Everything looks good. Best to hold this block down in place like this. Take your other half. You gotta get your mag release kind of situated. You might have to move it a little bit. In my case, it's even more difficult because it's this big honking thing. Oh, you know what else I forgot? You should put your safety in on this side. Just like that, I slipped everything out of place. That's how easy it happens. This pivot pin here, I lifted up on it and it uh, lost its location. There we go. Ideally, you want this brass tube right on top, 90 degrees. Now that my safety's in there, it should be a little bit easier to put this thing together. Just like that. Put your screws back in. Oops, that's not the right one, is it? Nope. Short guys are in this uh, pick rail here. And these other two are right there and right there. Yay! 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 All right, at this point, I'm going to put my rear air adapter in. Put a little bit of oil on the end here. There is a tiny little o ring right there. So it does need some lube. Biggest mistake people make is tightening this thing in with a wrench. It does not need to be tightened in with a wrench. You just get it lined up. My hands are slippy. Just like that. You can do it kung fu hand tight. 
but don't use a wrench on that. It's very easy to strip your regulator. Regulators are a replacement part, so if you do damage it, you are able to get a new one, but save yourself the headache, no wrenchy. Okay, slap this guy on. Yep. Just watch your nuts don't push out the back. <laughs> uh, I had to say it at least once, right? All right. Now the piece de resistance is will it work? This is a first strike nipple on here. Um, this it, rear air adapter comes pre-installed with a Tipman style. And I believe that's kind of what they modeled, MCS modeled this after. Um, so I'm not sure it's gonna work. Okay. If I remember they said to put some little dab of oil in here. I wonder if it'd be better. Let's just put it on the nipple here. And it's got to plug into that hole. And down inside here, there is an O-ring. It kind of seals on this nipple. So you just kind of go in like this and then you rotate it in. It didn't feel very positive there. So we'll have to see how that works. And then take your other side, match it up. And drop your screw through. It's biting into that a little bit, so I'm gonna have to thread it in. Before I get too crazy, I'm gonna put the other side on. So it's protruding out the other side now just a little bit. See, I might have to actually back it in a bit again. There we go. And we're gonna tighten it down. You can see it all closing up nice there. There we go. Back installed. Now, if you're running anything through the front here, or back, back, sorry, you have to have an empty CO2 in here. So I'm going to I don't know what I'm gonna do yet. Hang on. Let me go grab some stuff and we'll uh, test fire this thing. All right. Couldn't find a plug, so I'm just gonna run this gog in the rear in the off position to act as my plug for the moment um, so that I don't waste a bunch of CO2 trying to figure this out uh, in case this leaks here. So I got a 12 gram. Let's put a little drop on the tippy top. Motor in. Really gotta get one of those extended knobs here. Oh, oh, you know what? These aren't crossments. I gotta adjust this. Okay, well, what do I gotta do here? Remove the lock screw first completely. And I'm gonna back this one out. And I'm just gonna put it in the marker. It should go in pretty easy now. 
There we go. What I want to look for is I want a little bit of play. That's too much. So just give it a little twist. Let's just try it like that. Put your lock screw back in. Don't lose it. That's what she said. Oh boy. Anybody see where I put that screw? <laughs> Let me check my pockets. Aha, there it is. lock. There we go. She's locked in. I'm not going to put a mag in yet just to see if it leaks or not. I have no idea what the velocity setting was on this. See how it goes. No leaks. Yay. So obviously when you run this uh, rear adapter from MCS, you can't use this anymore. At least not in this manner. I'll put it to good use. 12 9.9 gram rye balls. This is an eight inch Lapco 684 smooth bore. I'm gonna kinda just go for 30, 30 drills even for now. I haven't exactly decided what I'm gonna do. I do plan on running CO2 in this marker though, so. That's why I'm setting it with CO2. Well, 166 is not 30. 30 joules is about uh, 260 feet per second. When you make adjustments after you're fired, always a good idea, don't overdo it. Don't aim, so I've already fired one shot. Don't aim for 260 if that's your number. Aim a little bit lower, go through your, burn that CO2 off, start with a fresh CO2 because what's gonna happen is diminishing gas. So you'll set this to 260 on maybe the fifth shot, I'll get there. And then I'm gonna plug in the next CO2 and it's gonna be shooting really hot. Two ten. Can probably go a little bit more. Oh, another half turn. And you're gonna see right now. So that was my third shot. I hit two fifty six. That's pretty close to thirty. It might be like actually thirty. I think two fifty eight is thirty. Do another half turn. Whoops! Terrible not to Mag release. Two ninety. Two sixty four. Two thirty eight. Two eighteen. 198, 184, 166. Actually, I'm just gonna release the CO2 out of this end. A very terrible puncture, so that tells me, see how it's like a needle hole? I am going to need to adjust my Cap just a little bit more. All right, so new CO2, new Mega 9.9s. I made a CO2 cap adjustment, and there's like a sixteenth of an inch of play there. That should give a really good puncture. 
Uh, I didn't touch the velocity setting. I'm just gonna run this one more 12 gram and then I'm gonna leave it in place. And I'm gonna do a 16 in the back and see how the numbers jive together. Puncture? Good puncture? Sounded like good puncture? Ooh. Still low though, 212. Ramped up a little, 236, and then down again, 214. Okay, well, that's how tuning goes sometimes, guys. Don't get frustrated. I'm gonna do quarter turn, fire the mag, and then I'm putting the 16 in. I, I ain't gonna torture you guys with the whole slow monotonous process to get these going just right now if only it would hold that number that was the number i was looking for but it's not going to we knew that take this guy off of here. We'll put in my 16 gram adapter. Put a drop of lube in there. Now you can see where I'm going with this. I mean, you could run a 12 gram here and an additional 16 gram in the back. difference here is you can puncture this on safety. So let's load another mag up here. Hang on one sec. Why not a drum mag? Uh, I think this holds 25. I just put 20 in it. Another drum mag from uh, END Paintball. A D N paintball. I don't know. I you're too easy to too easy to screw that one up. All right. Safety. Punctured. This one was empty. Remember. So this is just sixteen gram. Two twenty two. Two twenty-two. Interesting. There's no change in velocity there. Two twenty-four. Not gonna adjust the velocity. I'll just bang this mag off quick. I don't know. Might be onto something here. Out of 12 gram, I'm sure I could have got all 25 actually. I have visions of New Jack City. <laughs> yes, and that'll see ya.